Welcome back to my channel, guys conscious and aware. Come on, come on, come on. Now today's video, I wanna talk about self-doubt is killing your dreams, man. A lot of people stop chasing their dreams, stop like pursuing what they want because of self-doubt. That's what we're gonna talk about, man. Now, before we do that, make sure to smash the like button to get a video out there. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button and join the family and comment down below. And let me know what you get from the video. Hold on one second. Whoa, what's going on here? Unprofessional. But yeah, let's talk about self-doubt. Self-doubt is natural. Like, it's not something that like, if you have self-doubt that you're like, your mindset's not right. We all have self-doubt, you know, like we, everyone has their dreams and what they want to achieve. And sometimes there's doubt, like, can I get there? Is it even realistic? Like, how long is it going to take? And am I good enough? And all these questions are natural questions and that like, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with doubting yourself. Now, when that leads to inaction, when it leads to laziness, when it leads to procrastination, when it leads to you stop pursuing the thing you want to do, then it becomes an issue, you know? Now, if you really think about it, like the self-doubt really comes from one, comparison. You compare yourself to other people where they are in their journey, you understand? Two, it's coming from your own perspective that you should be further along. Like, okay, I've been doing this for a while. I should be here now. You know, you're not happy with your current situation. You know, but that all of that is just a perspective change. That's all you need to do. You know, you have to remember why you started it. Why are you chasing that dream? Why are you pursuing something? Why? What's the reason behind it? Is it just for the sake of the money? Just for the attention? Just for that? Or is it something that you truly, your heart desires? If you're chasing your dream, that means you're chasing something that your heart desires, that your soul desires. You know, so whether you're here, here or here, it doesn't matter because you're doing something that you genuinely like to do, you enjoy to do, you know. So there's no way, yeah, that it doesn't matter where you are in that journey. As, as far as you're still on the journey, that's the most important thing because you're doing something that you actually love to do, that, that you actually want to do. So you can never be too far behind, you understand? Now, when it comes to, when you start to look at it like, oh, I need to be here now as a competition, like, oh, okay, I need to be here by now. No, it's not about where you need to be. It's about staying on the journey. Because the longer you stay on the journey, the more time, energy, the more love, attention you give to the thing, you will progress. And the whole point is progression. The point is not to, to be like, yo, like beyond everyone else. The point is to progress and to do what you enjoy to do. That's it. That's the only thing you need to focus on. You understand? Anything else is just coming from a compet competitive mindset. Com competing with yourself competing with other people like you've already won bro you've already won you're all you're already successful if you found something that you lo love to do something that you want to progress in you have already won my guy because it's like that's the whole point of life doing the thing that you love to do a lot of people don't even know what they want to do they're just watching tv all day they're just doing like distractions idle time all day long they don't even know what they enjoy but you know what you like to do you you know you, you, your mind's already decided and that your heart's already telling you your soul's already telling you like this is it this is our journey this, this is the way we're gonna go on that so you've already won but you're stressing yourself out you're you're like pushing yourself and you're like debating and self you know what I'm saying like self-sabotaging yourself and that because you're not further along even though you, you you're walking the, you're walking the path that you're supposed to walk and that but you're upset or that you're doubting yourself that you're not further along but you're on the right track bro you're already on the right track you're already walking where you're supposed to be walking to a lot of people are just lost in the in the in the jungle they don't even know where they're at you found a road and that but you're angry because you're not at the end of the road yet you understand so like don't doubt yourself, innit? Like, you're walking your path. You're going to get better each day, each week, each year. It's going to get better. You're going to improve. You know, that's how... That's some people, bro, like, a lot of people you see at the top of their field, bro, they took 10, 15, 20 years to get to that level. So, like, maybe you know, you've been on your journey for a year, four years, five... It doesn't matter how long you've been on the journey for. The, the longer, the longer you, like, stay on the journey, the further you go. You only lose when you give up. That's it. It's that simple. You only lose when you give up. You feel me? So you need to get to a stage where it's just about you doing the thing that you enjoy to do. Because when you enjoy something, you will progress in it. But if, you're, if your enjoyment comes from the results, the success, the money, the attention, then you're always going to be self-doubt and you're always going to be always going to be behind, always going to be lacking. So you're doing what you love to do and that's it, bro. Stop complaining. You know, there's millions of people, billions of people that don't even know what they want in life. 
So you, you walk your path. Walk your path gracefully. You understand? Like, do you think it's going to be easy? Like, if it's going to be easy, then everyone would have had it by now. If, if it was going to be easy, everyone would be doing it. But it's hard. It's very hard. And that's why a lot of people don't even try to do it. That's why a lot of people just give up after a week or two. Like, I always give the analogy of working out. People go to the gym one week, two weeks now. Then it's like, ah, oh, they don't want to go anymore because why they can't see no results or it's too much, too painful. And it doesn't make no sense. Like, pain is progress. You understand? Once you go through adversity, once you go through failure, once you go through all the struggles and self-doubt, that is how you progress. The self-doubt, the pain, that is progression. Progression is not just like you're just flying in the air and everything's perfect. No, progression is pain, like self-doubt and adversity and just like constant, constant battle, bro, within yourself. That is, that is how you progress, bro. No other way that you progress. Just like in the gym when you put the muscle on the strain, that's how it grows in that. Just like an athlete when he pushes himself past the boundary, that's how you grow. When you put him late nights in, that's how you grow. You understand? So I don't know, like, that's all you need to know. You know what I'm saying? That's all you need to know. Enjoy it. You have to enjoy the pain. Enjoy the pro. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have to enjoy what you love to do. Because if you, if you don't, you're not going to do it long enough to get the results. But it's painful, bro. It's painful. You feel me? So it's like, that's the main message, man. For all those who are self-doubting and not knowing like if they're gonna achieve their goal or second guessing like their their path that they're on and that stay on it man the pain is progress bro the the pro like the adversity is the way forward you understand that is it like i say like um what's the analogy about the diamonds and that like diamonds without pressure there's no diamonds something like that anyway but yeah man that's it man that's the message i want to give out today the energy i want to give out today to the world, to anyone who's watching this, if one person watching this and gets motivation and carries on, then that's it. The message, my, my, my duty is done and that. All you need to do is make sure that you give that same energy to the next man or woman and that's it. We're all progressing, you know? Like, everyone has these days and you know, where they feel like, man, is it even going to work out and I'm still in the same position and, like, I can't see the way out and where am I, you know what I'm saying? To, like, when is it going to happen for me and, you know, when is it going to be my break and that? Like, don't worry yourself for them to them things too much and that like worry about showing up consistently putting the work in progressing and that's it man leave the rest to god and that man and you will be where you're supposed to be where you are right now is where you're supposed to be that's the first step like you have to accept it where you are right now is due to yourself due to your own efforts so if it's down to yourself then you can also change that you feel me so make sure you apply what i said in this video and that's it man everything will work out now, if the video brought you value, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you get from the video. And definitely hit the red subscribe button, man. And join the family. And also make sure to check out the, the link in the description. Got a Discord group. Got a Patreon group. You know, a lot of things are happening. Social media to connect with me. Speak to me directly. All in the link in my bio, man. I appreciate it.